it's Anne here again and I am back with some more mixed media kind of projects now a while ago I did um, a couple of shows on creating craft and I used the new Sizzix creamy acrylic paints and truthfully I have to say I was absolutely floored by these because they are amazing they're more of a technique type of paint than a coverage type of paint so brilliant for card making um, you know all that kind of stuff mixed media everything so this is what this is the main thing that I'm actually going to use today so I want to show you how easy it is to create like really good mixed media cards and backgrounds now if you don't have them paints just use what you've got you know you don't have to have them so I thought we could do probably a black, a white, maybe a craft card. So I think I'm going to start with a craft card now. Let's have a look. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the white creamy acrylic and I only really want a small amount and I'm just going to take a brush here and I'm just going to kind of like do a dry sort of brush technique I might just pop a little bit more on there right so that's just the kind of thing I want now because this is a very very thin layer you know it's virtually dry so I'm going to take another color and I'm going to take lemon cello and I'm going to pop a little bit of that on the mat and again I'm just going to do the same thing All right, so that's that done and I give it a little dry off with the heat tool as well. Now I've got a stencil here and I just want to have a few random bits just around. So I have got some of the Sizzix dimensional paste. I'm going to use a bit of this. Now if you wanted to, you could put these paints in a bit of the paste and make it coloured. It works really, really well. Just wanted it like that. Again, I will quickly wash this stencil and I'll be back. Alright, so I'll give that a quick dry. I've just took a stamp here, just like a textured stamp and it's from this set which is Lisa Horton. You get like all different kinds of textures. So I am just going to get, oh I just have to use this actually, this scrap of cardboard. So what I've got is some Versafine clay because I don't want to stamp it like fully I just I might stamp off actually first do you see how that just creates that extra interest texture so dead easy to do with paints now I'm going to pop this on I think I'm going to have it on a black card base and then we are going to put probably a few little die cuts and maybe some um, obviously a sentiment and stuff I'm just cleaning that off there so let's have a look um, we've got that so I've got a black card base here I'm 
all right so there we go that's looking really nice now die wise what I had done was I've got a couple of my favorite sets from these are Tim Holtz dies and I love these I just think they're they're just so pretty um, I'll show you which one it is actually if I've got it handy yeah this one which is funky wreaths I love this and we might make our own little berries with some Nouveau drops or something I actually cut these out of some Amazon packaging um, because it's very similar to craft card There we go that is just tap the bottom that is such a quick and simple little card but I think it's just really really pretty so there is one idea you can do okay so it's the next day now I never got uh, any more done just life so I've got the Stampers Anonymous Stamps by Tim Holtz, one of my favourites. I love these and you get two huge stamps and what I'm going to do is with the Sizzix paint you can actually stamp and it's brilliant. The white paint on the black card it just looks amazing. So I'm going to take some of the paint And I'm going to just use this little kind of blending tool here and I'm just going to start and dab it all over the stamp. Now you must wash this off straight away otherwise it will dry and it will stain it. Now it doesn't affect it but you know you want to try and wash it straight away. So I've got that there and I think I'm just going to do a kind of now look how well that stamps that is just pretty amazing if I do say so myself okay so I've cleaned the stamp and we've got the lovely um, stamping on the card now just so nice to stamp on black now I've got this beautiful stamp this one's by Pete Hughes I love this and I want to use this lovely star and it's sort of like a, an inlay die so I'm gonna get the big shot ready Well, this is more like an iridescent really I think that'll look so nice behind there so I really only need a little bit I like that. Now what I'm going to do as well is I've got some of this twine I'm going to have a bit probably under the sentiment wherever I'm going to put that so I normally just stick the 
this on here first like that and then you can just kind of wrap it around here just like this I'll do then if you want to put a bit of glue on as well just because you've got the twine on there now we can have that there and then I've got some white nouveau drops here I might just dot a few of these around There we go. There is another one, kind of mixed media using the paints. So we have these two up to now and I think we'll do one more. So I'll tidy this away and I'll be back. Okay, so we're gonna do another one. Now, this time we're gonna use some paint and we are gonna use some of the decorative foil sheets. So, I'm gonna get a bit of cherry blossom and a bit of lavender dust. We're gonna have a kind of pinky purple and rose gold. I've got a bit of card here so I'm going to go in with the cherry blossom, just a plain piece of card. And again, I'm just going to kind of dry brush it on. So I am going to quickly dry this off um, just rinse these two brushes out and then we are gonna well actually before I do that I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do because you need to let it like go clear so what you have is the Sizzix 3D adhesive now You need to pop this on and you need to let it go clear and just it doesn't take long a few minutes I suppose before you put the foil on so you could oh you can put it on with anything your finger just for example just a little bit and we're just wherever you want to have some foil this and as I said it just takes a few minutes to go clear so by the time I've washed the brushes and come back we'll be able to do our foiling all right so that's ready so what I've done is I've took some of the foil I've just cut a little bit off a uh, shiny side up and I'm just going to start oop, putting it on and then I'm just going to press it down you can see that there That's 
so pretty. I also put so what I did with the this moth. I painted him with a paint. I used a garvey and the cherry blossom. And I've also put a bit of adhesive on him as well. You can see that there. You can actually see the imprint of the wings there. There we go. So let's have a look at our card here. So we're going to pop this up. This just get some of the black acrylic. Just want a tiny little bit on there. Just a little drop of water. <coughs> Just a little splatter brush. There you go, just create some little splatters. back on there then I've got my little beautiful little moth There we go. I think that is so pretty. It's probably my favourite one actually. So I just wanted to show you again that it's really not hard to create, you know, the mixed media styles of cards. Um, not hard at all. You just have to not be scared to do it really. I mean, you know, I hope you can see that it wasn't hard um, and I've had fun doing it and I just think we have some really pretty cards there so hope you enjoy it I've got loads of videos planned uh, using up busy patterned papers we may even be doing a marker or alcohol pen storage unit um, some more real of your stashes some more mixed media so make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all again soon Bye for now.